Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's Thursday. Um, you know, on a normal Thursday, I'd be working, but I had to take some days off. I had extra days off to take, so I decided that today would be the day I would, you know, take a little break. And I don't know if this ever happens to you guys, maybe it was just me, but um, you know, I had all these plans and things that I thought I was gonna do today, but you know, didn't really happen the way that I wanted it to. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, it is um, my own responsibility and I made, you know, not like bad choices today, but I made choices to be a little bit lazier. You know, sometimes I feel like we need to give ourselves a little bit of a break when it comes to stuff like that. Like, you know, like what I'm saying right now is I was procrastinating. There are other things that I plan to do today that I didn't, actually get to but at the same time too i've just been like kind of tired in general you know like work's been busy blah 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 so i think you know we need to give ourselves some grace with that um today's just going to be like a kind of random video if you've been following along for a little bit i mentioned in a couple of videos ago that i did want to incorporate a little bit more vlogging so this is basically what we're doing today i have some things that i just want to show you guys real quick and talk about it but i also have a little um alteration project that i don't know it, um how it's gonna go because i've never done this before like ever at all i've never tried to like alter any of my own clothes i don't really know how to sew like i can only sew if i need to for example i think it was over 10 years ago or 11 or 12 years ago i was working at a job where i was wearing like a button down shirt and like you know like a tank top or a, like a camisole underneath and a button from my shirt just like fell off and it was like bouncing on the table and i was just like what happened and i looked down and i was missing a button and I borrowed like a sewing kit from somebody and I just like sewed my button back on um, in the bathroom at work. And that's like the extent to me modifying clothes. Um, I have also repaired some of my dog's toys like a long time ago. He barely ever breaks any toys though. So that's a very rare occasion, but um, yeah, so my sewing is minimal. We're not doing any sewing today, but there is something that I want to do. But before we get to that, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. And these are just some like miscellaneous things that I've been picking up here and there and didn't quite like fit into its own dedicated video, which is kind of why I'm combining things today. So first, I wanted to share with you guys that I really wanted to try some mineral sunscreen. So I picked this up from Verse. I ordered it from their website directly so i'm looking forward to trying this out this is a 1.7 fluid ounce um tube and yeah i have not tried mineral sunscreen before i am looking forward to seeing how this goes um i really like this packaging i feel like you can like squeeze every little bit of sunscreen out but yeah it's been super cloudy and rainy recently right now it's exactly that cloudy and rainy which i'm surprised the lighting is like this because i'm not using any like artificial lights i just kind of like open the curtains so yeah i'm really surprised because i can't like see the sky at all it's just clouds but i guess it's not too dark outside like the clouds aren't like that scary dark gray color or anything like that but um i always wear sunscreen i wear sunscreen every single day even if it's a rainy day like today um, and I really just wanted to try out a good mineral sunscreen so this is the first one that I'm ever going to be trying I will let you guys know how it goes I was also able to pick up a little sample size of their dew point moisturizing gel cream it has green tea extract and aloe leaf juice so I really like gel moisturizer so I'm looking forward to trying this as well it's just a little sample packet and the main star of the show I need to um, cut this tag off which I actually have a scissors right here so i'm not sure if you guys are familiar with this headband i think i need to like dust a little bit of this like dust off it's probably from the packaging when it got shipped to me but um they also have made this in the past in like a mint green color and i've seen a ton of people with this headband on i was kind of hoping to get the mint green but i think it's like a limited edition thing but yeah i think this is super cute it's super soft and i'm really planning on using it to like keep my hair out of my face when i'm like washing my face in the morning and stuff anyways it looks kind of funny because it's so dark it's blending into my hair but um this is a headband that a lot of people say looks like a croissant which i think it does as well but yeah i'm really happy that i got this because they ran out super quickly um when i had ordered this it took quite a while to get 
to me but i think it's because um that's when there were like crazy snowstorms happening everywhere and like you know there's a lot of damage and i'm sure that the roads were like undrivable or you know maybe flights got delayed to ship it to me but yeah super excited that i have it now all right so in my last video where i was talking about youtube like why i started my channel and kind of my journey with that um i'll link that video right up here so in case you want to go watch it um quick link you can click it and go and watch that video so something that i did want to mention and put out into the universe that i'm not really sure i talked about like specifically in that video is you know the reason why i wanted to share some of those like stats or whatever with my channel with you guys is because it is something that i have been looking at closer recently like i guess i would say maybe in the last like six months or so i know that um channel growth is different for everybody and clearly like as i've mentioned and if you've looked in like about or whatever um or if you see my first video that was almost three years ago so you know just kind of wanting to share with you that like everyone's experience with growth on youtube is different um mine i guess is a little bit more on like the slow and steady side hopefully but yeah i do really enjoy making videos and posting them online i kind of feel like putting that headband on like mess my hair up right now but that's okay it doesn't bother me so i hope it doesn't bother you either um but you know what you know kind of getting back to the point here um i think it would be really cool to you know make videos full time kind of get more into that kind of stuff and um i'm just like really intrigued by it to be honest with you guys and i've been doing like a lot of research a lot of reading on it um watching a lot of other videos which you know um millions of other people are watching as well um but there is just something that i feel like is so interesting about it and um i would definitely like to learn more i love talking about brands that i really enjoy you know i like um, learning about different brands and what their visions are what their missions are you know what they're just trying to do with themselves and how to make how they want to try to make the world better and all that so that's really the stuff that i feel like gets me going and that i want to share you know more when i can if i can like with you guys um, i think it just kind of all depends how all of this goes um but yeah, I just kind of wanted to share those thoughts with you guys. For all of you who have been following me here on YouTube and also follow me on Instagram, thank you so much for supporting me on both of those platforms. Um, I can only, you know, continue to grow with the support of others. So yeah, thank you so much. Hopefully you guys are as excited and optimistic as I am with the potential, um, you know, as far as what can happen with my channel. I'm also trying to like educate myself and like learn about a bunch of other things so if you're interested in hearing about um the different things that i have been kind of jumping in like diving deep and digging through let me know down in the comments and i will definitely make a video and share those things with you guys so um one of the things that i wanted to mention is this book that i've tabbed so i've actually been reading a lot um you know kind of around like the middle of last year and into this year probably because honestly i haven't like gone anywhere like i haven't eaten in a restaurant for a year or something now so um just to kind of give you a little bit of backstory because if you guys have been watching you know that i like to give you a little bit of backstory to paint the picture i have been reading on a kindle primarily for quite some time now um really for me it's just more like convenience like i can read it on the kindle and read it on my phone on the kindle app kind of go back and forth depending on like where i am maybe i'm like getting my hair done or waiting in line somewhere or waiting at the doctor's office and just being able to continue on the same book is i mean just so convenient right so in the past few months i've been talking with some friends who have been mentioning like borrowing books online from the library we recommended some apps to each other on like you know how you can do that and i actually initially borrowed this book on like the library app and then i was like reading it and it was really interesting to me i thought to myself like i wish i had the actual book so i could like you know highlight it or like tab some pages and that kind of stuff um so i ended up ordering this online and here it is so i would definitely say if you're someone like me who is still like i mean i'm not new to the game because i've been doing this for some time but i just haven't been doing it maybe as consistently as some other people out there and i think you know sometimes too it just kind of depends on what kind of content you're looking for um so kind of like how i was saying like slow and steady growth is what i've been experiencing um this book influencer by Brittany hennessy gave me a lot of good like overall insight to um 
the influencer world, things like that. Um, what kind of goes on behind the scenes with like agencies and like getting jobs and how that whole relationship works. Um, it does talk a little bit about like, in my mind, I guess the term that I would use is kind of like business, like professionalism or something along those lines. Um, business etiquette is what I was trying to say. Um, and I guess personally, I felt like I've been working in a professional environment for like almost 20 years. So that that part wasn't necessarily new information to me, but how it kind of ties together in the grand scheme of this gave me a really good overall picture. So there are some super helpful things within this book. If growing on social media platforms is something that you're like interested in learning more about or curious about, I think that this is a good read. It's pretty Pretty easy to read I read it pretty quickly it is about 200 something pages um, but yeah it also has some really great examples and stories from actual influencers out there I know I've definitely seen saw a few names in here that I was already familiar with, but yeah, I thought it was really cool. Um, I'm definitely keeping it on hand with these tabs so I can refer back to it and I will probably read through it again because it was a pretty easy read. Um, I think this book was from like 2017 or something like that, so I'm not sure like how current it might be in like today's world, but if you're looking for just like a general overview or high level, I thought that this was... Um, I mean, it was a good read to me. I feel like I got a lot out of it. Hey, you guys, and now I feel like I need a drum roll or something like that. But I have been procrastinating on doing this for, I don't know, like a couple months or something now. Um, long story short, I have this pair of jeans. It's actually ones that I got from Nordstrom during the anniversary sale. Um, I think that was like in November or something like that. September? has it been that long I don't even know but anyways I got these um, AG denim jeans sorry they're inside out right now but they are the Prima ankle cigarette jeans and um, you know I mean people have been saying how skinny jeans are out of style but I don't know I like skinny jeans honestly my legs are so skinny that skinny jeans almost look like straight leg jeans on me sometimes but um, I thought a cigarette pants style leg was, you know, a kind of nice in between that wasn't necessarily skinny. But anyways, when I got these, um, I got them in a 25 regular, which I'm 5'3". That's like too long for me. And that's the part that I've been procrastinating on. I thought I would go and get these hemmed. Initially, I was going to take them to Nordstrom to get them hemmed. But I don't know, pandemic stuff and whatever, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, I'm sure it's fine, but I just haven't really been going anywhere at all. So it was just like extra work for me to go and like drop these off somewhere and then, you know, think about having to pick them up. So um, I have this other pair of AG denim jeans right here that I've had for maybe like two or three years now. And this is the first time I had bought like a raw hem jean. And initially I was having like, a little bit of trouble um, because frayed like the frayed bottom like the raw hem wasn't really like my style before everything had to be like clean and like sewn and hemmed really nicely blah 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 you know I think that's just how I grew up like don't wear anything that's ripped you know but I got used to them um, honestly, I was a little bit scared at first. I thought it was gonna like fray like crazy. That never happened. I have trimmed it a little bit, you know, here and there, but like not too much. Um, I just like, you know, a little bit of strings sticking out. Um, but I thought like, isn't that just cutting the bottom of jeans? Can't I just do that myself? Um, I'm gonna do that right now actually because I, I've been procrastinating on taking this in to get it professionally altered. It's like, at this point, that's not gonna happen already. I've been rolling them up, which doesn't look that great, to be honest with you guys. Um, and I don't wanna have to do that anymore. So I thought I would use this pair of pants for reference because this is a pretty good length for me. Um, if anything, I'd want it like a tiny bit shorter. So I think I'm gonna cut this one a little shorter, but yeah, I've never done this before cross your fingers for me I'm gonna do it on camera <laughs> and we can all have a good laugh if this goes badly but um, anyways let me adjust the tripod and cross your fingers and pray for me all right you guys don't mind me I'm just like 
hanging out at home so i'm not like dressed nice or anything okay so here are my jeans that i know are the correct or the length that i like i honestly am just gonna line it up and see how it goes i don't even have a proper scissors to do this so um i'm just gonna use this and hopefully that's okay so um yeah <laughs> Okay, so I think this is where we're gonna cut. Um, honestly, it looks that looks correct to me because I feel like this is, like I was folding it like twice and I feel like it was around, you know, this much that I was making it shorter. So that seems okay to me. I, <laughs> I didn't even think that I'd have to make the other side the same length. I'm only like realizing this now. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna, we're just gonna do it. guys this scissors sucks for something like this oh my god um honestly i was initially worried about it being crooked but could you even tell if this was crooked or not like from far away i mean it you know now that i'm seeing that it looks like super straight but i mean really all right one side's done that that's fine right Oh my god, is this a big mistake? Okay. Let's match it up now. Look at this. Oh my goodness. So I decided to like line it up this way. I have no idea what I'm doing by the way. I've never done this before in my life. <laughs> Clearly. All right, so both sides are done. It looks like it's the same length. I mean, it's not a straight cut. Maybe I should fix that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna try them on. All right, so what do you guys think? Uh, is this what quarantine is doing to me? I'm cutting up. $200 jeans like because I'm too lazy to go get them hemmed that's ridiculous anyways um I think they look okay honestly I don't think it looks bad at all I I'm fine with it um I feel like I would like the edges to be a little bit more like having that frayed look like my other pair of jeans so I think you know that'll come with time maybe I just need to wash it I feel like that's what was going on with the other one but yeah, not bad. Anyways, guys, I hope this was at least entertaining for you. Um, if you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.